Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've had a good Christmas. We're going to carry on now and work on these two parts. I've ordered the plate, gauge plate, to go between the cylinder block and the steam chest. So I'm going to wait for that. So I'm going to start on the top. So I'm going to get on and give that a good file up first and see what we've got with the measurements on the drawing. Right, that's the two parts filed up as much as I can without machining. Now I'm going to check all the measurements on the drawing first for the top part. Right, so I've looked at the drawings, checked the measurements. I've got to take uh, 55 off the bottom of there. So I'll get this set up in the milling machine now. Right, so I've got the top set up to take 50 foul off the bottom of it. All right, that's lovely. What I'll do now is turn that over and flatten the tops of the other parts off. Right, I've got that set up now to machine the tops of these bits off level. Right, that's lovely. Next we'll have a look at the drawing and see what I've got to do to the tops of them next. Right, what I've got to do now is widen that slot in there a little bit, equally each way, and then make the sides of this parallel. And then clean up the ends of this on that part. So I'll do that now. Right, that's one side done. I'll just do the other side. Right, that's the both sides of that part done. Now I'll clean up the ends. And then widen that slot a little bit. Right, that's that end done. I'll just do that end. Right, that's the two ends done. Now I've got to widen that little slot. It needs to be about five eighths of an inch according to the drawing. I'll just set that up and do that. Right, now these are squared up. Next thing I've got to do is get the middle of there and bore a hole in the centre of that down so far, but we don't go through that. And the same on this one, and we don't go through it. You'll see later on. Because somewhere along the line we've got to drill a hole from in the side at an angle to join the centre of that up 
in the center of that hole up but that'll be later so let's get that drilled all right so i've got the center of that there so i've got to go down seven eighths of an inch well i'm going to slowly go down with a small slot and end mill that one done I'll have a look at the drawer now because I've got to open that up to a certain size right I have opened that hole up to 5 sixteenths down to the depth now I've got to open it up to just over 5 eighths of an inch I'll see if I've got an end mill for that No, I've got an end mill. I've got a long drill. I have to remount that on the milling machine later on. What I'll do now is move it over and put my hole in the middle of that one. Overall, from that face, is the same depth as that one, seven eighths of an inch. So we're not coming through there. I'll just do that. <sighs> Right, there we are. Right, that's those two middle holes drilled down to depth so we don't come out the bottom of this. The next thing I've got to do is do four holes on a pitch circle diameter on there. Right, on the digital readout, I've got a four hole set up on a three quarter inch pitch circle diameter and I've moved the drill or this over to do the first hole I'm just going to touch the point of the center drill because that's only going to be a 6BA threaded hole so I'll just touch there put the tap and drill in and then tap it second hole right. and the next hole Right, now I'll just put the tap and drill in.
right I'll just get the 6BA tap tap that out right I've got a 6BA tap in there I'll just slowly Right, I'm just going to bore, drill that hole out there. Perfect. Right. So next thing, I'll just hoover that off. Right, so the next thing, if you look at the drawing, this is the plan view, there's a hole. It has to be bored through there to connect that centre hole to the centre hole there. If you look at the side view, they say solder a block of metal in there to aid drilling. And that hole, look, goes through there and joins that hole up and to that hole so I'll just show you the part right so you've got a piece of metal soldered on here we can then get that set up at an angle on the milling machine and drill through there, connect that hole up in the bottom there, and connect that hole up in the bottom there. So I'll make that on the middle, I'll just find a bit of metal first and solder it on here. I only need a little bit just there, and then I can use a milling cutter to put a flat on so I can get a center mark in there. And then drill through there. Right, let's just get that going then. Right, so I've got that part um, set up on the milling machine. So that it can be drilled through there to line up the two centre holes. These two parts. I've started, I've used an end mill to create a flat in there. Now I'm using a 9.32 drill, what it says on the drawing, to carry on and drill right through there. I'll just put the camera back on the uh, stand. Right, just carry on. Just about to go through that first hole look.
We'll just get the hoover on there. Let's carry on through to the other hole now. She's come through the bottom hole, look. Just take that off a minute. That was just to try and stop that breaking off. Right, there we are. See, so as you can see, I'll put a bit of bar through there. You can see the bar moving through that bottom hole look. That's good. And I haven't gone through that side. Next thing I've got to do with this hole is tap that hole for a plug later on. What I'll do now is mark out and drill for the fixing holes around the top. Right, as you can see I've marked all the holes in the top. I'll get on and drill them. I don't think you need to see that. I'll just do that. Right, so I've drilled all the way around the flange for the fixing holes. Let's put it on the uh, cylinder block. Right, so here's the top on there. It's not, by no means finished at the minute. I'll just show you the drawing. Right, there's the top. You can see I've done that hole through there. But there's still some holes to go on the end of the square part which will be the safety valve top's got to go on there anyway. Now this part is where the governor's going. You can see there's two holes, steam holes. I've got to drill there, which go at an angle from the inside of there to the underside, which goes in the steam chest. I'll do that later with these. Now that hole marked X, if we look at the part there, look, this part is the um, valve chest, but it goes through the valve chest right the way through the cylinder, and this is the boiler here. So what I'll do, is I'll take the top off machine the top of this flat and the underside then I mark out the holes on the top and mark out that hole which would be the X here then when I've drilled through the steam chest, the um, valve chest, sorry, through, through the cylinder block. I'll be able then to put the top on there, turn it over and drill through that hole and just mark the underside. And then what I'll be able to do, set that up in the milling machine and drill at an angle through there to line up with that hole. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.